in the figure shown the plank is being pulled to the right with a constant speed v if the cylinder does not slip then we have to find out the velocity of the center of the mass and the angular velocity of the cylinder now first of all let me draw this diagram again okay so for this diagram over here for this diagram over here there are two pulleys okay and an uh, over here there is a string passing over the pulley connected to the top end over here and there is a block at the bottom okay which is going in the right hand side with the velocity v okay if this block is performing translational motion any point on the block any point on the block will have the velocity v okay will have the velocity v any uh, any point in contact with the block will all have the velocity v it means that this bottom most part will also have a velocity v the bottom most point will also have a velocity v okay now over here if the block is moved towards the right with the velocity v the string is going towards the right hand side with the velocity v the same string is going in the downward direction with the velocity v and the same string is going over here with the velocity v okay so if this string is going with the velocity v the topmost point has a velocity v in the left hand side direction the bottommost point is going in the right hand side direction with the velocity v and the topmost point is going in the left hand side direction with the velocity v so the velocity of the center of mass over here will be equal to the velocity of the center of the mass will be basically over here it will be equal to v and this will be equal to minus v divided by 2 which will be equal to 0 so the velocity of the center of the mass over here will be equal to 0 okay the velocity of the center of the mass over here will be equal to 0 the second thing we have to find out is so b is a correct answer a is incorrect the second thing we have to find is the angular velocity we have to find out the angular velocity now in order to get the angular velocity over here the angular velocity over here you can clearly see the disk is moving with a velocity v with a velocity v and the center of mass is stationary okay center of mass is stationary over here with respect to the ground with respect to the ground the center of the mass is stationary over here okay so over here i can clearly say that the velocity the ang in order to get the angular velocity v will be equal to omega r omega over here will be equal to v by r which is equal to option number c d is incorrect so the correct answers are option number b and c